Welcome to this uh, tips and tricks for pausing the game. Let's jump straight into it. So here we are inside of an Unreal Engine 4.26 project for a third person character template. And this works for Unreal Engine 4 and 5 as well. Uh, we're basically just going to be pausing the game. And how to do that is we have uh, created an event for our e-key that we're going to be triggering this from. So from here, we're going to be adding uh, we type in game pause. We can get the function that returns what the state of the current pause is, if it's paused or not. And then we type in game pause again, and we get this set function here where we can actually set something. And now you might think like, okay, we can put a branch and we can check, yeah, okay, if the game is currently paused, then we're going to set it to unpaused. And then uh, if it is paused, we're going to unp. Sorry, if it is paused, we're going to unpause it. If it's unpaused, we're going to pause it. Something like that. And that might make sense, but it doesn't work like that. If we try now and I press the key, we pause in the middle of there, but pressing again doesn't do anything. And the reason because that happens is because the pause button or the pausing will stop pretty much everything. It will stop inputs, it will stop times, it will stop uh, physics, timelines, everything that depends on time, basically. Uh, there is some... Uh, things you can do. Uh, if you have a tick, for example, you can have it printing out something like hello. Uh, and if we were to run this, you can see that I pause it and then the hellos will actually stop and they won't print anymore because the tick doesn't happen either. But if you go to a character uh, blueprint in this case, you type in pause, you can see that there's actually a section or an, a checkbox available to tick in where, where you say that a specific actor, like in this case, this third person character, should have its tick happening even though the game is paused. And if we do this and start again, jump up, press E, and now we're pausing the game and we're still printing out hellos because they're still happening. So that's one way to have something happen despite the game being paused. Uh, and this might be something you want or might not be something you want, but we need to be able to unpause the game. So how do we do that? Well. One of the things that are available to you is, uh, let's see, let's remove this and this and this and just say that when we press E, we pause the game. And then from that we, whoops, that's not the key I wanted. And from that we also add a widget. So here we have, we're creating a widget that's called pause screen in this case, we're adding it to the viewport and we're making sure that we show our mouse cursor when that happens. And our pause screen just looks like this. Uh, it, it has nothing special. It has a button in the middle that says unpause on it, nothing flashy. Um, and it has an on-click event set that unpauses the game and removes the widget from the parent. That's all the logic that it has. And this is one way we can have it. So we jump and we press and we, we freeze the game and then we have this button here which we can then press on and then we return to the game. And we can keep doing this if we want to. So that's how you can easily uh, pause and unpause your game. So widgets allow you to, for example, uh, do things uh, when everything is paused. And also you can have your tick events if you want to have something specific uh, work during a pause as well. I hope that made sense. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.